we have got another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I just went to Walmart this time because I needed to get quite a few non-food items and so it was just easier for me just to go to Walmart and get it done and over with. So, I spent $219.77. Oh yeah, that's a lot. I did luck up and get a few things to put back for Christmas presents. There's stuff on clearance. And then I got quite a bit of non-food items. Like I said, we were stocking up on medicines and um, I had to get a couple extra things. So let me get you turned around and I will share everything that I got. Here is everything that I picked up today. I could not believe that it was that much, but like I said, I got some non-food items and stuff like that so it is what it is nowadays but um since i am getting over a cold i realized that i needed to get stocked on some like cold and flu and more allergy medicines so i picked up some um, cough drops a couple different kinds also picked up some of the daytime and nighttime um, allergy um, medicine also got some of winston's as well to have put back and then i got this cold and flu and then I also got some more of Luke's um, allergy medicine as well. This is just going to help us stay stocked, you know, especially come cold and flu season, fall and the winter. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of get ahead of the game on that. And then I also picked up um, some kids' toothpaste. I realized that I was low on Winston's. We have plenty of ours, but I realized I didn't have any of his. So put that back in our stock. I also got some of these little hair bands. I've been seeing a couple different like, you know, ideas for my hair where it's still short. So those will hopefully work the best for me. And then more non-food items. Winston needed more socks. I don't know where they go. <laughs> um, he either eats them or the washing machine eats them. I'm not sure at this point, but I swear we just bought him some and I'm like, where are your socks at? So I got him some more six pack. Uh, Max's birthday is tomorrow, so I got him a few extra things. I got him a couple toys. Um, I got him this tug, tug toy, and then I also got him a like dental bone, and then a couple wet dog foods. We do this just for a treat. Add it into his regular dog food, um, and then I also picked up some of these. Um, immune support um, like gummies for dogs like chew tablets so I had been looking into these different brand but I thought I would give these a try and kind of see um, so we'll see how that goes so that's gonna be which I know he's not gonna care but um, you know that's his little, little tree he's gonna be two so and Winston and I might make him a little cake or some homemade dog treats or something to go with that but that's what we got and then Let's see, other non-food. I ended up getting some Christmas presents. They had all of their like summer, um, even swim, like all of that stuff on clearance. They had so much stuff on clearance. So I picked Winston up one of these sidewalk chalk bucket kits. It has like the little designs, it has chalk. This was $5 and look at the retail price, was $14.98. He's gonna love that. So I'm gonna put that back for Christmas. I got that for him. And then I got me one of these um, little like mason jar shakers. I thought that was super cool. And it has the, like the little thing where if you put lemons in there, it's not gonna come through. So I thought that was cool. I only paid 75 cents for that. And then the other thing, two other things I picked up for presents was these little, um, little kits. These were four dollars a piece and this is the chocolate lollipop maker I got this one as a Christmas gift for somebody thought that was so cool and then I got another one as well same thing at four dollars but this one is the chocolate um, sprinkle stick so it's like making pretzel sticks 
I don't know if I'm going to give this one to Winston. I think he would really like this one. So we'll kind of see closer to the holiday what what we decide on getting him. But for four dollars, that is really really good deal. And I think, like I said, this one's more up Winston's alley, and it's really cool because he can dip the pretzel and then you put it in that thing, and it spins the sprinkles. So I think because he likes being in the kitchen. If you've been here a while, you know he loves helping me in the kitchen. So one of those, that one will probably be for him, and then that's going to be for somebody else. And then I think, other than that, the rest is food. I'm pretty sure that's it. Which, honestly, that was a big bulk of it because the medicine cost a lot. Um, you know, all of those medicines are quite a bit. So, and then the dog toys and all that stuff. And the vitamins. <laughs> These were, I think, like 15 bucks. I don't remember. I'll have to look. Um, but for everything else is food. I got two zucchinis, two um, sweet potatoes. I got some bananas, some lemons, and a pear. Um, so what I do for Winston's lunches through the week, I let him pick two fruits to have alternating throughout the week as he wants them. And so for this week, we still have an apple in, we still have apples in the fridge. So we're gonna do apples and pears for this week. So that's what he picked. Um, but it's, it's just so much, it's easier for me, honestly, for not having food waste, buying a bunch of different stuff and like having him have a different fruit every single day instead of that, like doing it, picking two fruits, then, you know, we just alternate it and it just seems to work so much better for us. I got some chips. Um, I actually got these for free. I had a coupon for a free bag of chips. So I got those. I got some baby carrots. Also picked up some sour cream beefy onion soup mix. I need this for some beef tip, um, a recipe that I'm going to be doing. Got some more Velveeta cheese sauce. Got some cream cheese. The twin pack of cream cheese is over $3. That's that not insane. It's so insane. Um, bacon, it was a decent price, so I went ahead and picked one up. Um, I got some more tea bags. I picked up two things of crescent rolls some biscuits, and some pizza crust. I found these fruit and veggie bars. We buy the cereal bars, but we normally buy the Walmart brand, but I've seen these where it has the veggies in there. So I thought we would give this a try for Winston and see how he likes it, if he can even tell that it's in there. This one is squash and a strawberry. And then this one is apple and carrots. So we'll give those a try and see. And then I got another one of the variety pack chewy bars. Everybody eats those. So I just get the variety pack. Got two things of chai tea latte. I'm back to drinking this where I'm, we're back in school session and I need some pick me up in the mornings because I can't wake up. So I got that. And then I picked up one of these rotisserie seasoned chicken packs. I'm going to be using this for a budget meal for this coming week. Y'all will be seeing that video either later in the week or next week. Pro yeah, probably next week. Um, I got some cheese, Colby Jack, mozzarella, triple cheddar, um, cheddar jack, and parmesan. Got some butter. Got some eggs. Um, I got some hamburger buns. I had some in the freezer, but I forgot to thaw them out, and I need them for dinner tonight. So I just pop, bought new, and we'll use those other ones later. I got some more bunny bread. Also picked up some of the Good Seed Dave's Killer Bread. This is really good. Um, it is expensive, but yeah, we're splurging for good bread. <laughs> um, I got. I needed to restock my Campbell's. They did not have any of the French onion soup which I about cried. I still have some in stock, thank goodness. So whenever we, whenever I can get some, I'll just get it. So I got two beef consomme, two cream of mushroom with roasted garlic, and then two beefy um, mushroom soup. So I like to keep those on hand. And then whenever I can find the French onion, I'll grab some more of it. I got some egg noodles. I picked up two bags of the breaded okra. We really like this um, as a side dish. We deep fry it, it's really good. I have tried it in the air fryer and it does not do good in my opinion. I feel like well, that kind of needs to be deep fried. Um, I got a cauliflower st style veggie mix. Got some more green beans. We had just fixed these um, with some roasted vegetables last week. And um, Luke really liked them and he's not a big green bean eater, but he said I really like these so I picked up some more so we can have some more I got some corn nuggets 
This is my first time seeing these or noticing them at um, Walmart. It says battered sweet corn nuggets. We love corn nuggets. So I thought we would give these a try. I will probably deep fry these. I think that's best in my opinion. Um, but I've never seen that brand. So we'll see how they are. We'll let you know. I'm sure y'all will see them in a what's for dinner or what's for lunch or whatever. Um, I got Italian sweet cream to do um, sweet cold foam on top of my chai tea. My favorite is oatmeal. Um the um crap oatmeal cream pie but they don't have it anymore and it's not a great value brand it's um like name brand so we'll settle for the italian sweet cream um whole milk is all i could find <laughs> and we normally just use this for cooking um so whole milk is fine it's whatever and then i did get some more almond milk we got a five pound bag of potatoes y'all <laughs> a eight pound bag of potatoes was like eleven dollars I could not believe that. I was I was shocked. I I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm gonna start which I have can you know shelf stable potatoes. I keep canned potatoes on hand, but I'm gonna start stocking up more so that way I can use those in place of those potatoes when I ain't, I'm not about to pay that price. Mm -mm. So I did find these, the five pound bag, I can't remember how much it was, but I I paid for those, but if these start going up more, I'm not, I'm not doing it. We'll just eat canned or we'll do without, <laughs> which mine are still growing, but I didn't, you know, that was my first time doing potatoes. So it's just like one and a half pots worth. Um, so I don't even know how many that's going to be, but it's definitely not going to get us through, you know, through the winter months until next year. So it's definitely something I plan on planting more of next year when I do garden, like when I plan to do that again. But we'll just stick with the canned if, if, if need be. I got two things of two cases of water. Also got a Diet Sam's Cola. All I could find was the cans in that. So I went ahead and got that. And then I also picked up um, Lipton Green Tea for Luke. Got some soft shells. I got the little fajita ones y'all can see. And then... I got a zero sugar Dr. Pepper, a Diet Coke, those both are for Grover, my father-in-law, and then I got Luke a regular Dr. Pepper, so. And then we normally just have um, tea and lemonade every single week, but that is everything. I think I said everything. Still can't believe I spent over $200, but, oh, sometimes we just, you know, we gotta get things, so. And we like to splurge on things still, but. That is everything. Let me put all this away and then I will share the meal plan next. So here is the game plan for this week of meals. As you know, we don't follow day to day. I just kind of pick and choose what sounds good for the day. We have got hamburger helper. I'm just gonna do the box, make it easy. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do chicken and veggies. I think I'm gonna do like a baked chicken, season it with some vegetables. Um, we'll see. And then the queso chicken with rice was left over from last week. We weren't able to get to that. So I'm going to do that, hopefully. And then I'm going to do some fried burgers. We've been grilling burgers, but a good fried burger, like in a cast iron pan, just sounds good. So we're going to do that. And then I always try to leave one day for leftovers. It's just going to kind of depend on, you know, if we have leftovers or not. And then if not, of course, I'll just fix something. Y'all will see everything that we eat on Sunday's What's for Dinner video. But then on Fridays, Luke normally grills something, especially since we're still in the warm weather here. And then I have a new recipe I want to try. It's from a cookbook, and it's called um, Alfredo Chicken and Biscuits. So I'm excited to give that a try. But that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.